key take home messages for us from this study were that in Australia we actually have about um, one million young men who are experiencing moderate to high levels of psychological distress. So one million young men who are actually struggling with issues around their mental health and wellbeing. Um, that's comparable, if not higher, than the number of young women struggling with similar issues. Um, we found that um, regardless of how a young person was faring, um, they were using the internet and they were using the internet to connect and, and to be part of communities. But that even though we've invested so much time and energy into improving mental health services for young people, um, young men are actually still not getting the help and support that they need. Um, so we think that there are some really amazing things that we can do in terms of using technology to improve mental health and wellbeing for young people. Um, we think that, that the type of services that exist at the moment are a really amazing start. Um, and I'll, I'll show you some of the services really quickly in a minute. But what we need to do is actually make sure that they're accessible for all young people, um, including young men, including young guys that might not be working or studying at the moment, because they were a particularly high risk group of, of young men. Um, and that we actually need to also start to equip professionals who work with young people to be able to use technologies to be able to reach these guys. Because if that's where they are, after 11 o'clock at night, not feeling great about themselves, but logging on, hopefully we can provide something to those young, young men at that point in time. Um, so I wanted to finish off by just putting up on the screen a couple of the current services that are out there. Um, and this is probably something, as you guys are talking about youth wellbeing and mental health in your groups today, you might find useful, because sometimes talking about those issues can actually bring up issues for you as well. Um, so there are some really fantastic services here in Victoria and, and in Australia that, that are accessible 24 hours a day, including eHeadspace, Reach Out, Kids Helpline, Lifeline and the Suicide Callback Service. So they're all up on the screen. And, um, you can get to any of those by going to either the Headspace or the, the Reach Out websites as well. So um, I just wanted to finish off by saying thank you so much for the opportunity um, to come along and share some of our research with you. Um, I'm going to hang out for a little while, so I'm more than happy to answer any questions that people have got and, and to sit in on some of the tables. Um, if you want to find out a little bit more about the work of the Young Well CRC, um, we are on Twitter. We're a little bit obsessed with tweeting, I have to say, so um, you can definitely follow us there. Um, we're also on Facebook and we've got a, um, a really amazing email newsletter if anyone's interested in, in issues around young people, technology and wellbeing. So thank you again.